I'm going to show you from the side because again, a lot of people aren't doing this one properly. Push your hips back, keep that back as flat as a board, tightening your hands, rolling it up. Here you go. All back. Now I'm going to change it slightly. It's extending my legs out. Now I'm going to go with a barbell, barbell style row. Work more middle back. Now, a great stretch that I don't see people perform that often is a good old lat stretch. You can take two grips, which you get basically the whole lat more of the top. You get lower in the lats, you take the inside grip. This is a time to unwind, totally relax the muscle and think about and visualize the workout ahead. Now my back needs a bit of a rest, so I'm going straight back into another set of tricep push-ups. This time I'm switching it up again, I'm going to use the dumbbells. So I want to, I want that variation. Narrow, drop it down and extend up. This actually protects my shoulders a little more because I'm not going all the way down. So I'm not engaging my shoulders as much, but isolating my triceps even more. Nice little tricep stretch is the overhead try. Pulling on that elbow, bring it into the, the head. Other side, you see that from the back. I'm also getting a bit of a lat stretch at the same time. If I flex laterally. All right. Now, I'm going straight into another tricep exercise. This is the overhead tricep extension. Hand on waist, we're gonna extend that dumbbell back behind the head and straighten up to flex the tricep that way. Full range of motion folks, that's what it's all about. It's the only way you're going to build quality muscle. Full range of motion, deep breathing, focus and progressive overload. That's what it's all about. Okay, switch, hand on waist, belly in, back straight. Slight bend in knees if you have to. Just visualize. You don't even have to look in the mirror, folks. The mirror is right here, right in the head. Another one of my favorites that I don't often see perform. That the reason why I like this so much is because it engages my core and my legs. I call this a squatted row. Keep the legs still. Visualize. Do whatever it takes. Close your eyes. Breathe deep. And not one that you need to go super heavy on. It's all about the pump and the stretch and the cuts. Now I'm straight, I'm just gonna straighten up this way. This is a great lower back worker, equivalent to the back extension. Working the hamstrings and Thickening up the lower back. I'm starting to get a nice burn through my lower back because the last thing you want to do, folks, is to have really thick upper back and nothing down low. That's like having really good quads and no calves. Now, as you can see, I paid close attention to my lower back right throughout my career. And this is the result. That little Christmas tree there, that's years and years of deadlifts and um, back extensions, including these exercises. Because when you help on stage, you want the judges to be impressed by the total physique, the symmetry, the balance. And I like to pose throughout my workout. I call these power poses, opening up my physique, 
A lot of guys who compete and just general people who work out, they don't have this flexibility. Why? Because they do not power pose. And this is what, what power pose will give you. That dynamic ability, flexibility and athleticism to be more than just a, a bodybuilder or someone who lifts weights. This is going to give you that flexibility, you see? The balance, the symmetry, a lot of people don't understand that. But once they get involved and perfect the poses, then they gain more of appreciation for power pose and, and the training, not just see it as a means to an end, but a journey.